Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. I'm always expecting the Cuphead intro to start up every time we do one of these. Ready for a real bout. Well, things are a little bit different this time around. First off, I have the Niskel here live for recording. I have not pre-recorded in advance. And second of all, we got a new protagonist. Hmm. We are actually going to be playing as Jack Kelso. Dear Miss Lakeman, pertaining to the matter of the Ponzi, twenty thousand dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. That is a hell of a lot of money. Gotta take the deal. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A two hundred dollar policy. Generous settlement is payout? an understatement. I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the it's money? It's flat out ripping themselves off. This case. I feel my friend may have been a victim of foul play. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> the music stings. So great. Alright, well let's see. Let's see, me being Jack Kelso, let's see what we can find out. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Got a bedroom, two closets, a hallway, a bathroom, bedroom. I don't think we're supposed to be looking at this here. Hmm. It was approved. Maybe by a lesion field development. Uh oh. That's bad. Oh. What's this? The roof collapsed. Oh dear. Like your friend took a hell of a fall. He, he, Twenty-three feet to the ground. That's not nothing. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course. So now we get to interview Elsa. As Jack Kelso, but nothing's changed, really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Elsa. What do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. So, of course, we're going to accuse her. I think you're lying, Ms. Lexman. <laughs> wow! <laughs> she comes right out with it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! So now you know my motives, Mr. Kelso? And how do you intend to prove that? Remember, they, well, let me, uh, they were in the war together, so... My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but she is not being truthful. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already Go on, not take the money and run. There's something wrong in that house. All right, what's your connection to Butch Walter? You and Buck Walter weren't or married? Or Buck Walter, whatever. No. I don't know, you crazy Germans with your German talking. And, oh, sorry, I let my, my, or, my Earl run out. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying <laughs> it. I think you can tell me what the hell is going on. All right. I may walk the walk, but I will not talk the talk. Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Alien the Germans aliens. makes me think of, like, you know, green-skinned, tentacled, yeah, one-eyed yeah, 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 life yeah, yeah, forms yeah. that speak German. Oh, Stein, Nick Stein. So the roof collapsed. <laughs> Accidents happen. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lixman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Well, we can't. Somebody burned the fucker. Liar! There's some kind of intrigue going on here, Miss Lixman. You're not the agent of Slams the a coffee <laughs> mug on the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're part of the KGB, are you? <laughs> we no longer have a government. I'm not a Soviet, unless you have some way of proving differently. Well, I've Here got you go. something Have that's... some red! Boom! <laughs> Sometimes you have to shake the tree. Oh, come on! That's the exact same, same thing! He's saying the same shit! Whatever, though. I'm intrigued, Miss Lipsman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. How about $20,000? There's a conspiracy yeah. surrounding mm. Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of obvious on our end, but this guy. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. 
What are you going to do about it? All right. A so lot of nothing. One final question. Will you go out with me? <clears throat> you still that fucking cool. What? Is that usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lexman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Carazo. Okay, yeah. well, she's got a point there. Not the phone number. Well, not my problem. Bye. Uh, the phone number is five. Only five. What is the serial number for the phone I have back there? Uh, M two seven three X five zero. This is a drawing of a penis. What's going on? Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Jack Castle. In my office now! Yeah, I'm gonna sit here first, but let's take a look what we did write down. Oh, oh. Sunset Boulevard, telephone number 221. <laughs> Hi! 221! <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Kelso! Anyway, out of the way. You're fired! <laughs> okay, Mr. Spacely. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's he at? Uh, is he in here? Mm. Nope, uh, nope, no, nope. Bruce oh. Lee, uh, no, no. Uh, let's see, uh, conference. Oh my god, he is Mr. Spacely. Watch up! <laughs> Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying oh, please to do tell me he I has a mustache. I can't see from here. I don't think he does. Make him J. Jonah Jameson. Damn it! Oh, oh. Hi, Curtis, Jack. This is California. I want pictures of Cole Phelps! <laughs> like I said, Curtis... <laughs> Him and his German place. lady are better than Spider-Man. How so, Jack? <laughs> that lady Elsa Lichtman is refusing a twenty grand payout. So Elsa she's German, Lichtman's whatever, lady, right? Yeah. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room. And oh the yeah, because jazz musicians aren't people. people. She's the beneficiary of this guy Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland. Yeah, I'm an American. I'm no Elysian. <laughs> A little, little well, fun joke there. Making some pretty serious I was about to say, no, I'm not part of an allegiance. I mean, oh, shit. Very highly strung girl, Jack. Corrupt but business now, practices? Hell no! Wouldn't dream of it, son! <laughs> generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look what do you mean, phony claims? Stop asking questions! Uh, no, sir, no, I... Mr. Jack, how's out of my office? Extortion! Hey, you're fired! Get her off our backs. <laughs> I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job! Oh! Uh... Do I have to do everything? Yes! You're the boss, I figured you I'll would, but you okay. Fine, Jack. Excuse Fine. me, you're getting in the way of my golf game. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Asshole. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Benson. You ever seen a regular show? Yeah. <laughs> I can think of Benson, the gumball guy. <laughs> Four! It's like, do your job or you're fired! <laughs> your car, Mr. Kelso? Yes, my car. Thanks, kid. Because I am Jack Kelso, which means that I am a good driver. No, 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 please. Please, please, no, there's so many innocent people. No! Ah! What the fuck? He hit me. That was his fault. I saw it. That was completely his fault. Well, anyway, let's get down to Elysian Fields. Okay. Wait, we're going straight to Elysian Fields? That guy could have arrested you. Had he been, you know, hanging on the side of the car. <laughs> And it, it is neat to be doing this live, though, in front of you, so you can just uh, see the God. torment and oh, chaos God. at work. Oh, come on, take out those poles! What are you doing? Oh, okay. Take out the poles! Okay. Come on, get oh. the high score! Got a job. Well, that's my oh, hood. Yeah, huh? there goes your hood. Oh, you missed one. Yeah, there oh, goes there the we go. Whoa! Oh! Yeah, come on, ramp, oh, ramp off fire hydrants. I'm already smoking. I, I do want to get there quickly, though. This is a pretty short case. Love yeah, this. ain't nothing but a hound dog! A lot of these arson cases are pretty short. Oh God, her purse is dead. <laughs> she kept she kept a dog in that purse. <laughs> no! Oh, geez. no! Gibbles! Yo, know, I uh, put an IED in a small little dog, and now yeah. it's a, now it's a bomberanian. Where do you come up with this shit? It just comes to me. <laughs> if you, you think it's easy being me? It's not. I mean, oh my god! Nobody would think to put a dog and a bomb together, I mean, unless you're sick in the mind. 
So I read there's like a, like a sickness of people who are obsessed with puns, like mm -hmm. where you have to wake up your partner in the middle of the night mm -hmm. to tell puns, and you, you, you tell puns in job interviews. I'm thinking... And... what's it called? I don't know, but I almost have it, I think. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a joke, I really think I got a problem. House call! Legion Fields Subdivision Office. Oh, hello. Look at them posters in the background. It's very nearsighted. Those ladies are wearing stuff. Mind if I snoop around? Well, tough shit. Whoosh. This is a cement delivery seat. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Mm-hmm. Sand? Oh, God. Sand! Oh, God, they're using sand bricks. Sand and cement? I don't think that's how it works. Pretty sure. All right, where's the... Uh... That's that's bad. Oh, <laughs> that's go. really bad. That's terrible. Okay, what do we got here? What we have Let's here see. is... Uh, a company memo. Leland Delays Monroe. will not be tolerated. Man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Hmm. So Leland Monroe is telling Frank Osterman to get on with that shit. This is probably cementing that fact. City of Los Angeles presented a building at the Normandy Avenue subdivision immediately demolished and all the material removed from the site. Why? Hmm. Well. So stuff needs to be built and then older buildings need to be destroyed. Money, I am by a jack also! You don't come in here and tell me where I can and can't go! You fuck! Are you on drugs and morphine and are you drunk? It's California! Oh! Oops! <laughs> oh, come on, hit the guy! <laughs> he just called you an asshole! No. No, no, no I'm... I'm drunk also, you don't hit me like that! I don't wanna fight. Son of a bitch! I'm getting my car I'm going home. <laughs> you can't get in your car. Yeah, and stay out. Yeah. What you gonna do and about stay it? out. <laughs> He's mean. <laughs> Tell no, him. Don't I'm go telling. into the street. Don't go into the street. People are gonna hit you. You're gonna get hit by a car. It is funny that his zone is right there. They really want you to take him out right there. All right, yeah, let's... I'm gonna come back and get my hat. You do it. If you hit me again, I'm gonna tell. You back. Ah. You're getting your ass kicked, man. Come yeah, on. I got, got him. I got uh, him. You this guy's like 45. Fucking... Take him out. Uh, uh, skunk! I can't believe you! Uh, Ow! Uh, Ow! Grapple. God! Just... Uh. I came uh, to the... see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Because I gave you a black eye. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was oh, the... uh, don't go away, sir. I'm not done with you. That was the weakest attempt at I let you win I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the demolished house. Hang on, buddy. Oh, come on. You just beat him half to death. Now I'm about to slam my car into him. He doesn't give no fuck. He is brave. See, see all those fucks he gives? No, you can't, because he doesn't he give doesn't any. He doesn't have any. Oh my god! I just drove over him! Oh, oh lord! Oh my god! <laughs> Pigeons! What? Oh, no entry. I guess, yeah, no I entry. guess they're right. No entry, no exit, no nothing. Yeah! Hey, will you leave me alone? Jesus! I, I think you did let me win because I think you, I think you're just done with me. <laughs> oh, good lord! That is a fucked up house. The place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Hmm. <laughs> Not for construction use. I'm glad that's. Printed on every piece of wood. Let's build a house out of this stuff. Let, let's build every house out of this stuff. Yeah, about My as good God, as look at that. About as good as matchsticks. Look at this crap. 
More of that sh yep, sh shitty this... undersized bricks with the shitty fucking cement on shitty fucking lumber. God, these shitty fucking houses. The sand cement. Oh yeah, look at that. Just fell into pieces. It's like, what, did an ant kick it too hard? You know, I would kind of love to see a 1940s caricature ant kicking down a house as their logo. I'm remembering of, uh... Secret Squirrel from Two Stupid Dogs, and there was- Super Secret Secret Squirrel! There was a- a villain named Quark. He was, uh, causing untold destruction to all these massive buildings and all that. And how he did it was that he removed the bottom atom. Ugh. <sighs> That's pretty good. What are we looking at here? Something over here. Can I- Ah, here we go. Let's try to piece this together. Well, I, I think you can easily piece it together. These places were shoddily made. That's not right. That's not right. Well, I've hit a dead end. I'm supposed to put this here. Ah, Keystone Films! Keystone Films Studio. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Oh. This is green lumber. Only for sets. You don't make houses out of them. Uh, what? Uh, what? He tried what? to kill me with a bulldozer! And he did. I just want to see what would happen. <laughs> you just, just kind of fall over while making Succumbing to death. I'm just thinking, you just fall over while doing an MST3K. <laughs> he tried to kill me with a forklift! Target the Whoa! Um, uh... Well... Well, nope. so, much, so much for that. Yep. Uh, nope. How can I? Uh oh. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Uh. Uh. Let's try that again. He tried to kill me with a forklift. Oh, no, it doesn't exactly work. It's got to be two syllables. Now kill him. Oh, okay. I think I just need to keep going, because he's gonna put up that thing so I can't shoot him. Oh, oh my god! He no! caught up! He caught up! He caught up! He go, caught go, 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 go! What? You have to shoot him. Ugh. Or at least shoot at him. With that gun you apparently have. Dude, how do I have a gun? I thought I was an insurance salesman or whatever. Or a... Well, you gotta be able to shoot down some shady claims. I do, right, yeah. Shoot at the driver to slow the bulldozer okay, down so and aid your escape. Jump over him. Jump over this. I'll turn around. Shoot him a couple times. Probably did nothing. Get the fuck up there. What? Bah. Come the hell on! <laughs> You're not exactly telling you. Do you want to skip it? No. Ugh. Okay, so when you get on top of that Son thing. You shoot him, okay? Sounds about right. We'll give that a try. So, go over this one, and then get on top of this one, then and immediately then aim. Okay, jump. Fuck! Like, I die before he even hits the thing! No, eh, you die when he hits the thing. No, like, he, he hits it, and then I die, and then I get caught in the demolition afterwards! Son of a bitch! Mm, jump. So... I gotta ru I'm running down here as fast as I can. He still catches me. Okay, I turn shoot now. I turn around to shoot him. Then shoot. He still catches me. So... What am I supposed to do? Okay, after you jump over every single one, shoot him. He's gonna catch up to me! No, he's not. He slows down. After every single one. Son of you son of a bitch! Jump it. Now shoot. Okay, go. So I run. And then after this one, shoot him. There you go, he slowed down. The thing is, I gotta turn right around again. Oh, yep. Uh, aim and fire. There you go, he stopped. There. And. Jump it. Jump. There you go. Now run. You did it. Did I did it? Yep. Did I, well, he'll probably He's gonna get fall in, in that. <laughs> blah, 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 blah! Seriously. Well, 
That was something. No, 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 I want to go back down and kill that guy. Nah, it's fine. He's learned his lesson. Has he? I'm not sure he has. I mean, we did run him over with a car. I didn't even go anywhere. Well, fine. Anyway, I need to get an address for, uh, Keystone Films. Why does the game care, as Jack Kelso, that you're running over people? Because the game doesn't want me to run over people. Jack Kelso, California Fire Because I'm a fire and life investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. How can I help, detective? Oh. Same lady, though. Six five eight North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? Yeah. Till Roy Earl is a piece of shit. I think I, I had a revelation last night. Mm. I figured out why I hate Roy Earl so much. I mean, for all the reasons you've already mentioned. Yeah, he. Like, why I real he really rubs me the wrong way. He kind of reminds me of my old band section leader from when I was a junior in high school. I mean, he wasn't a racist or anything shitty like that, but he kind of had that terrible kind of attitude. And it really just kind of rubs me the wrong way. So, uh, if you're listening, Pat, let's get a drink, okay? It's been a while. You know, maybe you've changed. Maybe. Maybe. Some people don't change. I'd, I'd rather boy. I'd, I'd rather buy a pad to drink than fucking Roy. Present again. I'm thinking, what kind of drink does Roy drink? It's like, do you want a do you want a white Russian, uh, Roy? It's like, nah, I don't want nothing from those fucking filthy Soviets. Uh, do you want a Moscow Mule? Nah, they're from <laughs> Russia. Fuck them. How about an Irish car bomb? Uh, nah, no I, way. I hate no, night the don't Irish. need no drinks from those wops. Uh, what? <laughs> The, the, oh, fine, how about some oolong tea? Nah, it's got a weird sounding name. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want no Chinaman drink in me. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't want it. Well, fine, how about a cosmopolitan? What, do you think I'm a woman? That's well, a girly drink. Oh, well, I mean, you are a bitch. Well, okay, fine. Do you just want a Budweiser? Nah, those damn Germans. <laughs> God damn What's it! What's wrong with you? Uh, every single drink is made from somebody other than America. Fine. Do you want, uh, some American brewed beer? Strictly American. I would say Yingling, but you know, no, he'd probably find a problem with that too. Yeah, the guy who made Yingling, he came from from uh, how Europe. About, how about Bush Light? How there about just go. a water? Was this water made in America, or was it that filthy Canadian water? Water oh is God. water. 